Welcome to The Dennis Report. I'm Dennis Acheson, and this is As I See It. Did you catch the media bias in the coverage of the provincial election in New Brunswick on September 24th? During the CTV Supper News Hour broadcast, Steve Murphy was interviewing a political analyst named J.P. Lewis. Mr. Lewis got talking about constituencies to watch. The first one he spoke about was Fredericton South, how that was going to be an interesting race, and the graphic came up, and the graphic only showed four candidates, even though there were five. Mr. Lewis then slid over to talk about St. John Harbor. Again, the graphic came up, four candidates, leaving out a fifth. Then Mr. Lewis and Mr. Murphy slid over to talk about Albert riding, because Mr. Lewis felt this was one to watch because People's Alliance did well in the last election and maybe that carries over into 2018. Again, the graphic came up, four candidates, no fifth. Ironically, the fifth that was supposed to be there was the very candidate that Mr. Lewis was talking about. Right after that, Steve Murphy apologized to the audience saying their graphic abilities could only accommodate four candidates, not five. Consider that. National broadcaster, all their resources, they had all the time in the world to prepare, and the explanation to the audience was, um, sorry, we don't have enough uh, technology to put five images up there instead of four, so that you, the voter, can have the best information possible on election day. Then during the election, I flipped between CTV and CBC to watch the coverage. All of it was dominated by polling results and polling forecasting. And both CTV and CBC, Harry Forrestal and Steve Murphy, ran this narrative of it's going to be a liberal majority based on polling. Well, in an earlier As I See It, I showed how polling is a guessing game at best, especially from a random sampling of 400 people. People don't always respond honestly, and you try to extrapolate that as a majority for a government. It's thin at best, but it definitely shows the media pushing a narrative in a particular direction during an election period, which has the power to influence how you vote. About an hour into the broadcast, it was pretty clear the polls were wrong, the predictions were wrong, and the analysts and the hosts on both of those networks never took the time to apologize to the audience for being wrong in their projections. In the 10 days since the election, I've not seen a single story saying, we made a mistake, we should never have led the audience in that direction of a liberal majority, we should never have believed the polls. There's not been a single story about a pollster admitting that they were wrong and can't figure out why their methodology didn't prove out to be accurate. How can you be so unprepared? How can you be so misleading? The role of the media is to report the news. So I want to leave you with this final thought. Apologies for the language, but the point is pretty clear. Be good, have fun, love each other. Thank <laughs> you.